In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use X particles with mesh tools to create a fully procedural plasma ball rig. Okay, here we are inside of Cinema 4D and I've got some uh, objects already set up in my scene. We have our core, which is where the arcs are going to come from. We have an emission sphere, which is the yellow one. And we have a intersection sphere, which is the pink one. These have all been instances so each instance has the uh, selection based on the part that we need. So we have our core, our mission, and our intersection. These are the tools that we're going to use that help it keep it procedural. If we want to change the geometry, we just change the link to the reference object. So we can close down the geometry and we can get started. So I'm going to hide the emission sphere. We don't need to see that. And this is what's going to be the plasma ball. So we need some particles. So let's go to X, uh, Insidium, X particles and create an emitter. The emitter we're going to emit from our emission geometry. So with the emitter, we're going to set it to object, drop in our emission geometry and change it to polygon area. Okay, we're going to go to the emission and we're going to set it to shot. I'm going to set it to simulate so that we can see our particles and we're going to set the amount down to 15. Okay, we don't want any speed on these, but we do want them to be large. We're going to set the size to 40 or whatever size you want, but we need them to be quite big because that's going to help with the intersections. So go to display and we'll change the display type to circle so that we can see them. Let's just make them white. Okay, that's good. So now we can see them. We want these particles to flow around the surface of our sphere. So we go to Insidium, X particles, Nexus. We're gonna get a follow geo. And again, we're gonna use the emission geometry as our source. The only change we're gonna make with this is set the field of view to 360. Okay, that's not gonna do anything until we give them some movement. So let's get a turbulence modifier. So X particles, Nexus, NX turbulence, and we'll set this one to Voronoise. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds on our timeline. If we push play, we've got our particles and they're just moving around that surface. That is perfect. So we can set up our first part of the plasma ball, which is the arcs to these particles. Go to Insidium, Mesh Tools, and we want a Mesh Tools Spline Effects. Okay, we've got Spline Effects, we go to the Objects tab, and we want our Start Object, that is the Core. Our End Objects, that is our Emitter. And if we push play now, nothing's going to happen. We've got no arcing happening. And the reason for that is because our connection type is set to origin and the end objects have no origin. So we need to set it to points. So now it's going to go directly into those particles. Okay, so let's adjust our splines here. Make them a bit nicer. We don't need any small noise. So we set that to zero and we're going to change the noise type for the main shape to noise. And we're going to change the scale. So let's adjust the scale so that it's quite a big, nice, smooth arc. Something around that looks good. And we'll drop the animation speed down to about 20%. So if we push play now, we've got our nice arcs, nice bit of movement following those particles so that's looking pretty cool and then the next thing we want to do is we want to create some geometry that we can create some forking to go to so the way we're going to do that is with another mesh tools so we're going to go to insidium mesh tools and this time we want the mesh tools edge spline so with the mesh tools edge spline we'll bring this one down here and what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode from standard to intersection. And we want to create an intersection between the particles and the intersection sphere. To do that, we need some geometry for these particles. So let's get a sphere. 
And with the sphere, let's change the segment count down to 12 should be fine. We don't need too many segments on this. Okay, I'm going to make this sphere editable. See, and then we're all set to go. Let's get a Insidium X particles generators XP generator. And we'll put a sphere into there and we'll make sure the generator is referencing our emitter. So put the emitter in there and let's push play. So now we've got our geometry spheres. So we can hide these, bring this down so we know what we're looking at. So the edge spline, our intersection is the geometry and the intersecting objects is our particles. So you can see straight away it's creating these little rings, which is the intersection between the spheres and the intersection geometry. So it creates this spline. So let's go and just change the display to a single color. Let's make it a nice color. Let's go for a bright yellow. So they are obvious Something like that. Hide our particles. So there's our intersecting spheres which flows around the surface and follows the contours of that as well, which is really cool. Okay, so now we wanna do is we wanna create our arcs from the main arc into these. We'll do that with our mesh tool spline effects. Go to connections and we've got different types. We've got fork and nearest distance. So we're gonna use nearest distance. So we enable that and by default, it's creating a connection based on its nearest distance. So it's an arbitrary distance between these end points. And we don't want that, we wanna create an arc, like a forking. So we're gonna change the mode to split, which splits a point along the main arc. And then we're gonna use the connect to, to a custom object. And here we just drop in our edge spline. So you can see it's creating these arcs. And we've got too many here. I'm going to set it down to one and adjust the distance. It's fully procedural. So whatever you want to work, so how far away it is, how many you want, variations on the distances is all up to you. The one thing to note is because these points change on movement, which means these are going to flicker per frame. So you don't want too many, otherwise it gets too much uh, flickering. But something like that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So there you go, that is the procedural rig. And to show the proceduralism with this setup, what we can do is we can create some new geometry. So we've got everything ready. So let's say we want to change the spheres to platonic. So we're gonna grab a platonic object. And let's put this one down. So this is gonna be our core. So let's type in core. We'll Control drag, make another one, emission. And we want this one to be around about the same size. So let's unhide this so that we can change the scale. It's pretty relative to that. Let's go. Cool. One more, this is our intersection. And let's bring the scale of that one out. Okay, so it's good. Let's hide that one again. And we'll bring those and we'll drop them down into our geometry folder. And then all we need to do is select our instances and drop in our new geometry. Drop in that intersection, drop that in there. You can see it's all adapted, updated, and now our plasma ball is working inside of our platonic. So completely procedural setup.